In this brief video, we will take a look at how easy it is to add drawers to your assemblies inside Cabinet Vision Solid. We will also be covering some other drawer editing capabilities available in Cabinet Vision Solid. Here you can see on the screen we have an empty standard base cabinet. Of course, the techniques we will cover here can be used on any type of assembly inside Cabinet Vision Solid, but a standard base cabinet is as good a place as any to start. The first thing I'm going to do is select the opening in my assembly which I want to modify. As you can see, my opening is now highlighted. Next, I'm going to click on the Split Multiple Horizontal option in the ribbon bar. Here I can choose how many and what type of objects I want to divide the opening into. In this case, I'm going to choose three drawers. I'm going to split this drawer into three doors by using the Split Multiple Vertical option in the ribbon bar. I'm going to go ahead and change the far right door into a drawer by selecting it. Then clicking Drawer as the type in the sidebar. I also want this drawer to be shallower to allow for a bit more clearance. So I am going to click the Box Depth option to select from my preset drawer guide depths. I could also type in any depth I want here, say if I wanted my drawer to be shallower, but my drawer guides to remain full length. I will go ahead and select the drawer here. I'll go ahead and add a horizontal divider first. I want the space at the front of this drawer to be 4 inches, so I will select that area and change the depth to 4. I'm going to divide the rear area up into 6 spaces. Now I am going to go back and split the front opening in two. Just for fun, I'll go ahead and pick one of these rear openings and split it into two as well. So we can see our changes easily in the 3D view, let's go ahead and open this top drawer up. As you can see here, with just a few clicks, we have gone from an empty base cabinet to a pretty complex one with just a few clicks. You should also notice that all of our machining is in place for drawer guide mounting, so we can send this cabinet directly to our CNC machine without need for any further manipulation. 